survival mode is launching tomorrow. Let's talk about it. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So survival mode season 3 starts tomorrow. Let's take a look. I saw that maps updated the current and upcoming events and content. And then I was waiting and waiting and waiting for evil maps to post the official announcement for survival mode. And um, sadly it still did not happen. But then I realized that it was already posted on the official website. So that is what we're looking at right now. So for those wondering what survival mode is, basically it is a 30 round challenge that you have to survive and each round consists of two waves of minions and one boss at the end of the wave. And basically there's a whole bunch of auras, styles, uh, orbital strikes, henchmen and all that good stuff. I will take a bit of a look, uh, a look at that a bit uh, tomorrow. And also you can earn some uh, data chips. Uh, there's two survival mode vendors essentially and uh, you can purchase various items from, from those two vendors. And uh, this year's survival mode will be extra special if we trust uh, what the devs are saying. It will be the first ever six person group content. Uh, sadly, they mentioned they say what new strategies await. I can already tell you uh, people will go into survival mode with two DPS, two tanks, and two healers. And uh, some will probably push that even more with four tanks, one healer, and one DPS. Uh, sadly, that seems to be the strategies that people are going to, to take. And uh, making it a six, uh, six player event. Pretty much excludes the troll by default, so I don't think uh, making it six players is a good idea. But uh, it's too late at this point. It is going to be a six-player event, and the minimum combat rating for survival mode will be combat rating 350. So it is pretty much an end-game event for end-game players. And even though you will have access to survival mode at combat rating 350, 350 is the minimum combat rating. The recommended combat rating is actually 356. But I can already tell you that a lot of players will uh, will expect people to be uh, max CR or the release combat rating 370 in order to play survival mode. Also, sadly, I guarantee you that some people will expect people to have uh, artifacts ranked up to rank 200. And they may even uh, require some specific artifacts like the Eye of Gemini. And the same for the allies. I saw some people post uh, what the best ally would be for survival mode. So you can already expect uh, some people will ask for some uh, specific allies for survival mode. So sadly, if you are a controller, if you don't have uh, the top elite gear, and if you don't have your artifacts ranked to 200, uh, it could be uh, challenging, let's say, to be able to get into a group for survival mode. Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see for that. And if we take a quick look uh, at the rewards, uh, you can see it uh, to the left there's a character that is sort of inspired by Dark Father. Uh, you can see he's wearing the Dark Father gloves, the Dark Father belt, and the Dark Father boots. I already know that that will make some people very happy. And also he has some sort of chrome sphere floating around him. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one is. And uh, you can see some sort of aura to the right of the screen. So there will be various styles as a reward. Like I already made a video about the Superman Earth styles, so you should be able to get those tomorrow. And there's also going to be a whole bunch of pets you can get for your lairs. Uh, in some cases you get a box, and in that box you can choose a pet of your choice. So sadly if you want to have all the pets, uh, you will have to get that box uh, multiple times in order to be, able to be able to get all the pets. And uh, you can get a whole bunch of pets uh, for your lair. But you can also get a whole bunch of base items. Uh, the base items from this year seems to be pretty much uh, loading screens. But uh, there's also a whole bunch of other base items. There's some uh, Superman inspired base items. There's some Green Lantern inspired base items. And there's also some Apocalypse inspired base items. Uh, I already made a video showing those base items. I'll put the link to that video in the description down below. And for all those of you who were asking when or when will we get the next survival mode. Survival mode will start tomorrow, August 11, 2022, and it will last until September 21st, 2022. And you have to wait until tomorrow after the daily server restarts. I have to mention that because very often when we get a new event or a new, uh, a new bonus week, people will log in and will tell me multiverse, I don't see the new event, or in this case, I don't see survival mode. You have to wait until after the daily server restart. So if you log in too early, obviously the event will not be added to the server just yet. And if we take a quick look at the current and upcoming events and content, so we can see that the Booster Bundle Remix is still listed, but uh, it's been gone for, for a bit, right? for, since last week, uh, basically. Uh, for the summer event uh, on Switch, it, uh, today is the last day for the summer event for Switch. So if you guys are playing on Switch, 
today is your last day to enjoy the summer event and as you can see survival mode will start august 11th up to september 21st 2022 so again for all those of you who were asking when or when will we get the new survival mode or better yet those of you who were asking when or when will we be able to get the new superman ever style tomorrow will be the day of days so get ready survival mode is almost here it will be available tomorrow after the daily server restart.